Yo, y'all know what it is and y'all know what it ain't. For them, I'm not gonna lie. The stories that I've been hearing coming from this one dude mouth, some believable, some are not. Some you could really look at it's like, is he doing this just to grab attention for his own financial beneficiary beneficiary gang? I'm sorry, I'm using too many big words this morning. Or is he actually trying to tell a story to make it out to the youth? It's kind of, the lines get blurred when it comes to this YouTube stuff because a lot of people who, I don't want to say no names or nothing like that, they come from a certain environment, they like to tell their story. You know, we got the TYMB Faith A's, shout out Trenches News, you know, that's Swiper. But then we got all these other people who doing it, but it's like a different lane they're trying to take and it gets kind of, it gets weird, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to lie, I've been holding this stuff in for a minute, man. It's this one blogger who really don't want to see me win. Gave my channel a strike. They thought it was going to stop, but I did even bigger numbers after that, after that strike. They really been really coming for me, bro. Like, it hasn't been a while since March, but they was really coming for me. I was in the comment sections doing all this type of stuff, and I don't want to make this about them, so I'm going to make this very quick. You know, we were supposed to do business. They asked for $600, which was out of, no, not for you. And then it turns into, um, you know, and I, whew. God, Jesus, I'm trying not to expose how much YouTube been paying me, but I have enough money where I could have paid, dude, but just not for that story. And it led to the line um, where um, pretty much he hopped in my comment section, feisty, like, wow. Like, when I say feisty, I'm talking about makeup and lipstick, feisty. You get what I mean? And anybody that go like, before they talking, it's a man, bro. He's most definitely down low. And with some words being exchanged in DMs and people's comment sections, I was blocked and... And then they wanted to squash the beef for me and ask for an interview. I told them, I didn't even respond to them. I was like, no, once you are up in my eyes or you come crazy, you could have came correct. Ask me to take something down or redo it like this. Don't come at me crazy. And I got a strike behind it. So just watch out for these bloggers, bro. Trust me, they everything they doing is in the name of the Lord. But in people DMs, they coming through like a feisty savage, lipstick and all. But now let's get into the story that was brought up because it came my way the other day. And the person who said it, I really didn't even want to do a video on it. But it just kind of led me to believe, you know what I mean? To sit back and think, like, it possibly can be true. Because at that time, if you really remember who was really in tour with Chief Keith, O Block. O Block. But who was the front runner from O Block? Boss Top was the main one who was known for snatching his chain and all his baby diapers and stuff like that. And so that kind of, when the story came out, and, you know, that person said that, V-Roy and T-Roy were being followers, I think if it, if it has any truth to it, which if it could be possible, it couldn't be, who knows? If it did happen, I think it all come from, you know, somebody who's, who initially started with a B and T. I think they probably played a large role in it if it did happen. But something that you got to really think about, you know, even with Sosa not being from Chicago no more, if you're from Chicago at all, you know what's going on in these streets, bro. It's so easy to find out stuff. And Sosa was seen with King Von not too long, not too long ago, not too long before Von died. They were seen together more than one time. And if this is true, it leads me to believe that Sosa don't know what's going on. He in the dark. You get what I mean? Because he don't really keep his ears to the streets like he used to. He in his own different lane. But I just kind of really find it hard to believe. You know what I mean? I just really find it hard to believe. I'm not going to lie. There's been a lot of stuff coming around surrounding King Von and all the murders he did. But at this point, I'm really starting to chuck it up in the air as a lot of hoobla. It makes good time, it makes good content and it's good stuff. If you're making money off your channel, you can make money off of, but let's just call it spade a spade. Ain't no way in hell King Von and T-Roy did anything to blood money with Front Street being right up the street. The man blood money is from Front Street. And if this is known like everybody say it, well not everybody, like dude say it's known. Don't you think it would have been some repercussions for somebody that was highly loved, like Blood Money? Sosa had enough money, he'll put something on your head. He don't even have to come to the rack and do it. So it's just up for y'all to question, pick out the facts, and take it for whatever you want to take it. Get in the comment section, let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone. Sorry, I had to I had to vent a little bit because I've been holding this in, bro. And I, it's just this one certain blogger name irritates me to death. I'm gone.